I'm back. I have a whole bunch of stuff here and I don't know really where to begin with it. It's just random drugstore. Again, I'm like obsessed with the drugstore, but I can't help it. I can't help it. Every time I go in there, I'm just like, yeah, I just need these things. So first of all, I saw a new display and it was the NYX um, liquid liquid oh it's upside down NYX liquid suede lipstick I'm wearing this on my lips right now um, this is in cherry what is this in something cherries oh cherry skies okay I got two I got cherry skies and I got pink lust this one I wore all day today and I went to work out work out I went to get air the trampoline place and it lasted the entire time I was there. So that was really nice. It, it didn't crack and it wasn't like missing in the middle of my lips by the time I was done. Um, these were $9.99. I saw the display. I've seen people talk about them like crazy. So I was like, I have to try these. Um, I like them. Again, with liquid lipsticks, it's like a love-hate scenario. I like them. I like their lasting power. If you can apply them right the first time, you're set, you're golden. If you mess up that application, you're screwed for life. You may as well just stay home and go back to bed because you can't go out in public. Like they stain, they're very like one hit wonder. You have to get this right the first time you apply it. So the pink was much easier to wear than this wine shade. I messed up putting this shade on and it was like, my lips just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and then I had to go back in and like try to tame them them puppies down a little bit. So um, the wine, I feel like I'm going to only wear this just going out maybe at night. I don't know. I don't know. I, I love this color. It's just harder to wear. I can't see myself wearing this to work so much, but the pink I would wear to work, but this was really, really bright. It was shockingly bright. Now, what it reminded me of was the Tarte Tartiste. There's a lot of cat hair on this. <laughs> My cat Luke is asleep on this bed, so I was like, oh, wow, that's a lot of cat hair. <laughs> um, the Tarte Tartiste lip paint. And I was never a huge fan of this. I think I only wore it like once. Maybe I need to give it another shot. But this is $24, and this one I think was $9.99. I'll just swatch it for you. Um, I don't know. Liquid lipsticks, like I said, it's like love-hate. They're the hardest and the easiest things in the world to wear once you get used to it. Ooh, maybe they're... Oh, no, they are quite different. Okay, yeah, that is quite the difference. See, that's why I didn't really love the... NYX is on this side, and it's shiny, and Tarte is on this side, and it's like a foam. It's like a foamy, dry chunk. There's even chunks on my hand right now. Chunky material. You can see my old swatches from um, the drugstore today. Uh, yeah, I would not recommend this, this lip paint. I would skip this altogether, and I would go with the Kat Von D, or I would go with the Liquid Suede. Um, no, just just no to the tart. Just toss that one. Um, but back to these ones. I love the packaging. I love that it's like a big container. And the lip applicator is nice. This is this color. But I'm also wearing this on my lips right now. Um, I love how there's a little diamondy thing on top. Like those details, they just do it for me. So anyways, I really, I really do like these. Um, different colors are harder to wear than others so you may not want to go with the deepest darkest if you're new to lipstick but if you love lipstick like I do then go for the deep dark because I do I really liked these the whole reason I went into the drugstore was just for this one little lip pencil this had been haunting me for so long it's a Rimmel East End Snob is that what it's called wow that took me a long time to find the name I went in for this lip pencil because this is like the holy grail of lip pencils. Um, it's by Rimmel. It's called Isen Snob and every person and their cat owns this lip pencil and I had to have it. I'm going to mark some on my hand down here. That bottom line. Um, it's just like a nice nude neutral lip liner. You can wear this with literally any color. Like I would put it with this color. I would put it with this color. I would put it with this color. I would put it with any color because you can't go wrong with a nice nude lip liner 
Ooh, mine's breaking already. I think it's just the heat. But it's kind of like a mauve really soft. A little chunk of, the little chunky tip is breaking off. Um, yeah, I think this was like eight bucks. And I, every person in the world has this and I had to have it. If everybody in their world jumped off a cliff for this lip pencil, would you? Because I, I would. So I did. So I just got this because I wanted it. Um, then I was there and I saw these Essence uh, New Shades. I'm new. It says New Shades of uh, Nail Polish. Do these have names? Long lasting polish? Oh, they don't have names? What is wrong? Oh, yes they do. The pink is Dreaming of Love and the, the beige is called Dream On. And I just really, I love this like creamy white beige color. And then I was like, I just need a pink that's not like a baby pink. So I went for it and I painted my nails today. Now what I'm going to show you is this, the Essence Quick Dry Express Drops. I was like blown away when I saw this. I was like, yes, I need that. I need my nails to dry fast. Because yesterday I had painted my nails with this Revlon. Normally this Revlon, um like style of polish or brand or whatever you want to call it is really good but this particular shade does not work for me it's not solid but yet it's not sheer I just don't get it it's called all or nothing I just don't get this shade at all it does not work for me it always chips and looks streaky and gross so I just had to say no Even though I painted my nails with it yesterday, I removed it and I went and did the pink today. I was going to do the beigey, but I was like, I literally just had this on my nails yesterday. I'm going to go for the pink. So I went for this pink, Dreaming of Love. It's cute. It's okay. It's on my nails right now. But my big thing was the drops. Were they going to make it dry faster? So it's literally like an oil. You paint your nails and then you just drop the drops on your wet nail polish. And womp womp, it, it was okay. It was 50-50. It made them dry a little bit faster, but it wasn't like, oh my god, this is what I've been searching for my whole life. It dries my nails instantly. It was, if you're really bad at painting your nails and you really can't even wait like a minute between coats, try this. It may speed things up. Um, but I mean, if you have a couple of minutes to let your nails dry, I find the Essence nail polish dries really fast anyway. Uh, so this, I don't think speeded, you know, it didn't speed things up like insanely, but it was okay. It was a help. I put it on, I let it do its thing for a minute or two. Then I went and washed my hands. There's a bug around me. Then I went and washed my hands and my nail polish did, it smudged. It like didn't smudge like totally off or anything and you probably cannot see on camera because I put a top coat on it but it it got those like um like when you go to bed and your pillow presses against it or something like it got those smudgy lines into it from the towel and stuff so I just went over it with my good to go Essie top coat and I mean it even things out what I can say is that I think it made my nails really shiny I can't tell if it's just the essence polish if it's the express dry drops or if it's the top coat that has made my nails really shiny like they're almost like shellac -y. they're really really shiny and nicely nicely done today so I can't really tell whose fault it is but all in all I like essence polish I really think that for $2.99 you can't go wrong but if I remember correctly, the last time I got an Essence polish, it was bright red and it did stain my nails. So you may need a base coat. I, I have yet to take this off, so I can't say for sure. But you may need a base coat to keep this stuff off of your staining your, your poor little nails. My cat is under the bedspread over here. God, my animals are crazy. Um, so last things last. Obviously, last things last. This Makeup Forever contour set. I was scared of what are these called pro sculpting palette and it's like soft creams I was scared of like cream blushes and highlights and contours for so long I have been really nervous of them I don't know why I just felt like they're not gonna apply right I don't know how to apply them with like a beauty blender or with a brush or like what's going on then I started using this one and I love it I love shockingly 
the contour. That's what is surprising me the most is that I actually like that contour like better than dry powder contours. I use it with a brush, with an angled brush, and I just chisel, chisel out a little bit of my cheeks and put some under my chin and I put some on the tops of my, you know, forehead where the sun might hit and I loved it. It looks so natural and so I don't know there was just something about it it was better than dry powders so this this is a real good little kick because you get a highlight I think this is a highlighter a contour an illuminator and then a blush so I love this blush color I use that as well love that color it's like a corally pink shade highlighter was kind of sparkly but or this is an illuminator so I guess that's why it was more sparkly than the highlighter the highlighter was very mild I like that it's $54 at Sephora, but I really, like, if you're scared of creams like I am, this is kind of a nice little starter pack. Like, it's not too intimidating. So I really, really like this, and I especially like that contour, which just shocked me. It was a shocker. Yep, so that's everything for today. Um, yeah, I gotta think of some more video ideas. If you have any suggestions, let me know, because I'm like... What can I film? Like every day I'm like, what should I film? I just don't know what people want to see because I can't go shopping every single day. But I have lots of product like sitting around my house. So if there's anything in particular that you're wondering about, hit me up. Old school, phony. Text me. Call me. If you want to reach me, page me. Impossible. Okay, I gotta go. I'm like drunk right now. I gotta go. Have a good night. Bye-bye.